Well, now we're going to go back to the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines. Hosting a U.S. Open is monumental, uh, is a monumental undertaking that takes years of planning. ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky joins us live from Torrey Pines. And Jeff, there's a unique factor that makes bringing the national championship to Torrey Pines even more meaningful. Yeah, Lindsay, when you look at most courses that host U.S. Opens, they're either private country clubs or very expensive resort courses like Pebble Beach. Not so here at Torrey Pines. That means every San Diegan gets access to one of the most iconic courses in golf. The U.S. Open is probably the most prestigious golf tournament in the world. Two weeks ago, I went to Torrey to visit Scott Bentley, who oversees San Diego's city golf courses. For his team, it was the calm before the storm. It's extremely exciting. We've been waiting for this since 2014 when we got the uh, contract signed and heard they're coming. Um, it's hard to believe it's here. Actually, the U.S. Open has had a presence here for a long time. There's so much prep work to be done that the United States Golf Association literally had someone pack up and move to San Diego to oversee it. His name is Brian McGee. I personally moved here in September of 2019, so I've been here for almost two years and I won't leave until August after we clean all the grandstands up and put everything back the way we found it. McGee has helped run U.S. Opens at some of golf's most prestigious courses, but he points out that Torrey Pines is different. Most Opens are at privately owned courses. Torrey Pines is owned by the city, a true public treasure. Torrey Pines is known as, you know, the people's course here in San Diego. Everyone comes out and it's the whole, you know, residents get a discounted rate versus those who come, are coming out of town. So it's really a unique situation to be at a municipal golf course. I spent some time with the last San Diegans to enjoy a true rarity, the chance to play under U.S. Open conditions. Longer, faster greens, and thicker rough. It is definitely tougher than when they have the farmers. Definitely tougher. Fairways seem a lot thinner. We've walked it a few times with Tiger and the, and the gang too. It's just a wonderful course. So it's our it's our most favorite. Usually we do Twilight because we're not that good, but uh, to have a chance to do it here with uh, Open coming is fantastic. This is as close as you can get to U.S. Open conditions. So we'll see we'll see uh, how we walk out there and then we limp in. <laughs> it tests every single aspect of your game and that's what makes, you know, Torrey Pines unique and U.S. Open Championships unique as well. It's also what makes Torrey Pines and the U.S. Open a perfect match. There are a lot of changes to, that are, are made to prepare for a U.S. Open, but Torrey Pines in itself uh, is a beast of a golf course and will be difficult no matter what day you come out here. Now conditions are going to stay tough here at Torrey Pines, at least tougher than normal through July, and that's because there will be a World Juniors Championship here. After that, the course will go back to normal, which is still very, very, very difficult. Live at Torrey Pines, Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News.